Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping this D about to react to this vid by Gideon. It's titled Twitch Sexist and Favoritism. Yes, shout out to these creators who are starting to come out and expose these platforms for their discrimination and their bullshit. I stand behind it, I support it. Shout out to Corey once again for making that video. I feel like him being such a huge creator, like it has the potential to actually uh, cause some type of change, you know? Cause when smaller people speak up and say shit, nobody listens. But when you have huge YouTubers starting to come out and complain about stuff, shit gets done. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. I'm just happy that, you know, more people are shedding light on what was happening. Cause these platforms be racist. Okay, they be racist as hell. It's crazy. Um, but he's saying that Twitch is sexist and that they show favoritism. So let's hear what he has to say, let's watch. And side note, please go subscribe to my second channel. It's down in the description below. If anything ever happens to this channel, if it gets deleted or anything like that, I will be over on that channel and I do upload daily over there. So please go support. But yeah, let's see what he got to say. It's sad that someone that's not even on the Twitch platform anymore, I have been banned oh, he left. for over oh, eight banned. months. And I'm the only one addressing this publicly. It's sad, but it's okay, though. Because you know what? A man that has nothing to lose is one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Facts. So, let's get into it. You see Facts. the title. Twitch. Sexes and favoritism. That's a very, very bold claim to make, Jadion. Calling someone sexes. But, I need you guys to know something. Usually, this drama, I post it on my second channel. If you're not following me on my second channel, be sure to follow me there. I stream every day. We have dope content, premium content. That's why it's called Janine on Premium. So go subscribe and hit the link down in the description below. But this right here, I want this to be known to the entire world. So I'm willing to taint my main channel just to get this message across. Twitch has been sexist for years, and they have gone unchecked. So many people have tried to come out, but it just gets brushed under the rug. They just ignore everything. So last time, all my stream on Jadeon Premium, hit the link down in the description below. I was streaming. We were having a W stream. We were having fun, watching videos. And my editor, he sends me a list of videos to react to, right? I'm going down the list and I see that he sends me a Twitter link. And I'm like, bro, how am I going to react to this? This is something on Twitter. But something just told me, click on it. So I click on it and I read the headline. Girl has sexual relations live on stream i couldn't believe it you can actually and they see let it fly everything that was happening so i quote tweeted it What's the and link? i said and i'm still For research banned. purposes a little jab at twitch but a joke nonetheless because i was like they at least had to give her a month to a perma ban i mean this is huge that's basically showing corn i said corn to underage kids right that's twitch doing that so I'm going on with my stream, my chat spamming. Yo, she's live on TikTok. She's live on TikTok. She's live on TikTok. So I join in her TikTok live. Then I ask her the million dollar question. I know why, but like, how long are you banned for? Um, seven days. What the? Seven, seven days. days. She was banned for seven days. For fucking Showing lie. porn to literally children in only a seven days day ban. What the fuck she do so that? I go she on tried. Twitter and I say she gets on live seven day ban and I'm still over here perma ban. That tweet has over 140,000 likes. 140,000 likes. Huge creators talking about it. Twitch is everybody's mentioned. So you would think something dancing? this big this major would go on trending. And it did. It went on trending for about an hour. Then it was taken off. Suspiciously, it was just taken off. Jake Paul is trending right now with only 2,200 tweets revolving around his name. But Twitch is not trending anymore. You guys are probably wondering, Jadion, where are you trying to go with this? I get a DM from a reliable source. I'm not gonna let you guys know who, but allegedly someone at Twitch reached out to a Twitter connect to have them remove their name from the trending tab. Allegedly. Allegedly. Hmm. Allegedly. So, I want to prove a point real quick. After you guys watch this video, there's been a hashtag at the bottom of the video this entire time. Use this hashtag on Twitter. If a tweet has more than 2,000 comments revolving around it, it goes on trending. So I want all you guys that have Twitter to use this hashtag after this video is over. And if this is not on trending, that allegedly is going to kind of look sus. But there's plenty more. Now, I don't know the reason why this girl was banned? What I do know is she was banned for a month. The thing with Twitch 
is it doesn't matter if you do stuff on their platform. If you do stuff anywhere else, they can still ban you. So this girl, she was banned on Twitch. So she went on Twitter and said, I want to it's, myself it's and it's shoot trending. people at Twitch HQ. Ha, 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 ha. This is a terrorist threat threatening to shoot people at Twitch HQ, right? They extend her ban. Obviously, to a perma, she wrote an apology letter to Twitch, and this and is Twitch's response. It. After reviewing your case, we confirm that the correct enforcement was issued. However, given the details of your case, including the remorse expressed in your appeal, we have decided to reduce your suspension to duration. Calendar your suspension days. has been adjusted to expire in 22 calendar days. So a little bit less than a month, literally threatening to harm the people at Twitch HQ, if you write a good enough apology letter, you know what? Just be bad for a month. You'll be all good. A female Twitch streamer literally showed her genitalia on stream. She showed her what? genitalia on purpose. And guess what happened? <laughs> Three day ban. Three days. Three days. I want to get to the examples where Twitch uses their full power against creators of the other sex. Starting with myself. We all know what I did on Twitch. It's no secret. And if you don't know, this is not the video for you to learn about it. Go figure it out yourself. Y'all tell me. I'm still banned. Since he ain't spilling but you know what? This isn't about me. Because I don't care about Twitch anymore. You know? I'm, I'm lit on YouTube. Be sure after this video Period. to subscribe to my second channel. I'm lit over there, man. Talk your shit. We're having a great time over at YouTube. But, hmm. Twitch, right. there can be a terms of service for girls and then a terms of service for boys. Second example, look at Dr. Disrespect. We still don't know till this day why he's banned. Example number three, my friend Kai, a black creator over on Twitch. Hey, is Kai is the largest and fastest growing streamer on Twitch. Twitch hasn't acknowledged Get him on Twitter it. or on any of the social medias. Twitch hasn't ever reached out to him. Twitch hasn't even thrown my boy a bone wow. or anything, offered him a contract, trying to look out for him, saying congratulations, nothing. But in January, he said, why are you guys acting like monkeys on his stream? A black man, perhaps, wasn't even using the word monkey in a racist or derogatory and they way. Banned him? Said monkey got banned for a month. A month. What? A month. But we have people throwing it in to go shoot up your HQ. But they get a little bit under a month, though. It's okay. That's example number three. And my fourth That's example. Wild. I have a friend it's by giving the name racism, of your brother. rage who literally almost got permanent the for his profile pic on his Twitch. Wait, wait, and I have no idea why. I had no hate before the symptoms of my Twitch profile. I can't do this on what I'm doing. Damn. That was in 2020? Hey, guys. His profile pic is literally just a cartoon drawing of him yelling that a family. But that's permaband worthy. He literally had to go off on Twitter just to get his account back. This is that my is final so thing I want to bring up. I talked about how allegedly Twitch likes to brush things under the rug. How they don't like to address drama or scandals or even atrocities on their own site. Like this one. If you guys don't remember, a couple months ago, there was a Buffalo mass shooting where an armed man literally was looking for people of color to gun down. And he, and he live streamed it on Twitch. He literally live streamed it on Twitch. Wow. I seen it with my own eyes, not the video, but I seen countless of creators adding Twitch. Twitch, when are you gonna respond? Twitch, we need a response from you. Nothing. They brushed it under a rug, under the rug. What company do you know? A racist one. Do something that heinous, where they won't even address a, a act of strict terrorism that happened on their site. And just should have ignored it. Should have ignored it when their top creators were asking them to please make a response. Nothing. Nada. Zip. I'm not making this video to get back on Twitch. I don't care anymore. I'm on YouTube. I'm having fun. I'm doing my own thing. The OG Dion would care, yeah, but I don't care anymore. I'm doing this to make a stand. I'm doing this Good because I know this is what's right. Twitch, you're going to address this right here. You're not going to weasel your way out of it. I need you guys to use this hashtag that's been down here this entire time on Twitter. 
We can't keep getting away with this, man. We can't keep on letting these big corporations think if they just ignore it, It'll they can away. get past it. No. Yeah. And I know you guys are talking about me. I know I'm public enemy number one. But like I said in the beginning of this video, a man that has nothing to lose is the most dangerous man on the planet. This is the last serious video you'll ever see on this channel. And I got a banger dropping for y'all soon. Expose them. Expose them. I don't know much about Twitch at all. I'm never on there ever. But for sure, sounding like uh, sexism and racism. You know, I don't know why he didn't say that. Because that's what it was giving. Heavy. You feel me? In a, a few of these situations that he described. Um, but I'm glad that people are, you know, shedding light on the injustices that take place on these fucking platforms because it is real there are racist people who are working behind the scenes and they trying to strike niggas channels ban niggas and do all that extra shit and and they think oh i'm behind the scenes you can't see me it's fine like what you gonna do because this is our platform what you gonna do you you under us no niggas gonna snitch <laughs> that's what the fuck we're gonna do we're gonna snitch and tell everybody what the fuck y'all doing and make y'all look crazy and then your back is against the wall. Now you gotta do something about it. You feel me? So yeah, hopefully more and more people start to speak out and change actually does take place because it's getting ridiculous at this point. Y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.